All right, so we're back with another video. So in the last video, I showed you how we can fetch the bot guilds. In this one, I'm going to show you how to fetch the user guilds. Um, so what we're going to do is let me open up my guilds controller file. Perfect. Okay, so basically inside this get guilds controller, so this is the function that's going to handle the request and return a response. Uh, we're basically going to call one function at some point. We just need to implement the other function to get the user guilds. And what's going to happen is we're going to go ahead and just return all the mutual guilds. Okay, we're not going to be creating separate uh, endpoints to fetch individual guilds. Like, for example, fetch the, the user's guilds and then create another endpoint to fetch the bot guilds. There's really no point for that, at least not right now. So we'll, what we'll do is we'll go inside the services folder guilds index.ts and we'll create a new function called get user guilds service and this function is going to be a little bit different so instead of using the bot token we cannot use it to get the users guilds the bot token will give you the the guilds the bot is in but if we want to get the users guilds like the actual authenticated user so for example if i'm logged into the application uh the application should be able to get my guilds okay so we're, we need to actually use the access token. Now remember that we actually save the access token uh, in the database. Okay, and that's the reason why we need to save this because we're going to make HTTP calls on behalf of the user. And this is an example of one of them. So uh, how do we actually get the access token of the user? Well, I'll show you. So for this get user guild service function, I'm actually going to go ahead and take in a string, uh, take in an ID. And the type is going to be a string. And we're going to actually fetch the user from the database. Okay. So let me import the uh, the user model from the database uh, schemas. And there we go. It's a named export. And so we're going to take that ID and we're going to go ahead and search for the user. So we're going, to, we're going to use async await. So let me go ahead and add async in front. So we'll use the await keyword because user.find by ID is going to return a promise. And find by ID is just going to search by the object ID, not the Discord ID, though you can use the Discord ID. But because we do also have access to the user's uh, you know, actual ID, like not the Discord ID, but the, the generated ID from MongoDB, we should use that instead. Okay. So we're going to find the user. If there is no user, we'll throw an error. No user found. Okay. And what happens if we find the user? Well, remember the user has the access token property. And we can use that to fetch the user's guilds. So um, I'm going to just copy and paste this these lines over here. Because it's really just the same endpoint. But the only thing that we're just changing up is the... And we're removing bot and naming that to bearer. And instead of token, it's just user.access token. Okay. And that is pretty much it. So now we actually have to call this function. Okay. Um, so we're going to go ahead and call this user guilds. We'll call this inside the get guilds controller function. So await get user guild service. Now, let me close this tab over here and we're going to call it. Now, we got to pass in the user's ID. So normally I would just do rec.user.id. But we're having a problem here is because it doesn't even recognize. Um, even if I were to do this, it would just still say the ID does not exist on user type. And it's a little bit annoying. But what we can do is uh, we can go inside this database folder inside schemas. And uh, I can actually just export this interface. Now, remember, we created we created this interface uh, a while ago, and we use the interface to type annotate the schema. So that way we get type safety when we pass in the, uh, well, not type safety really, but we get like IntelliSense, and like it actually pops up when we try to like pass in, you know, the Discord ID as a property, the access token. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and add one more, one more property called ID. And this is actually an object ID, which is a type from uh, mongoose. Okay, that's the actual, I think I'm pretty sure this is the actual proper type, but I'm just going to leave it as a string for now because we're, we're at some point we're going to need to 
pass in as a string anyways so it's just better if we do that though actually you know what i think let me check something real quick i wonder if it would be better if we actually set this as an object id because then we can just pass that in like what if i did object id like that and it would still work fine but you know i'll just leave it as a string for now if there are any issues we'll just change it back to an object id there are, i don't think there will be any though okay so let's save this so what we're gonna do so inside the controller i'll go ahead and just get the user object and we're gonna cast it as a user type which is just the interface that we exported okay and now we're gonna go and just pass in user.id like that okay it's a little bit frustrating that's why sometimes i don't really like using express for those reasons but it's okay all right so let's just finish everything up right now so uh let's go ahead and just call this bot guilds and let me just go ahead and send back both pieces of information so bot guilds user guilds all right and now if i go to my application you can see that i have all of the the data over here okay and it's all type annotated the way that we want it all right and so yeah that's just pretty much it so that's how we can fetch the user guilds okay so that's going to be pretty much it for uh this episode uh, in the next episode, we're going to go ahead and take both the bot guilds and the user guilds. We're going to go ahead and do some magic with those two arrays. And we're also going to need to, uh, you know, check permissions as well. So I'll guide you all through that process. So that way we can actually get the correct guilds to be rendered on the, on the front end. So thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next episode. Peace out.